Hello. Um, it is, it's not morning and I'm still in my bathrobe, but, um, yeah. Uh, I am working on and just about finished with, um, updating the boys' profiles in the different, like, casting networks that we belong to. So, um, there was some, like, major system maintenance or something that they did. And so, um, we had to go in there. We were notified that we had to go in there and like make sure everything was accurate. But while I was in there, I decided, well, I need to update a lot of their information anyway, cause they've grown like an inch, you know? So, um, I got everything updated, I think. And now I can like start my day. <laughs> So our current status here is uh, <clears throat> homemade apple pie and um, is it going to focus? Yes. The bounce house is back up. The grandchildren have arrived. I hear happy screaming. Be careful. All right. Almost landed. Almost landed. Alrighty. Um, Gabriel is having a blast as I think I'm going to put the clips from him right before this. Um, but now I am going to cut Horatio's hair and... I doubt that I can get Ethan to get off his bike to cut his hair, but I really should just trim underneath before he is in a commercial. But I could do that another day though. <laughs> so yeah, I'm cutting his hair and um, there was a deer, a very young deer. Didn't have spots on his butt anymore, but it came into our neighbor's yard and it ran and then it stopped behind those trees. right there and just looked at us and we're like hi mm -hmm. <laughs> it looked at us and then it went back around the back around our garden and just like jumped into that tall grass yeah we used to live like out in the country like really really out in the country we didn't have stuff like that happen there Wow. So now that the haircut is over, we are going to take a bike ride. He can blow off some of the loose hair. <laughs> Ooh wee. That was a nice little bike ride, huh? We ended up uh, going in the other neighborhood that didn't have hills. And it connected to the neighborhood that has all the hills. So, yeah, we were just going to do a nice leisurely bike ride, and then it ended up being a workout. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, Gabriel has been asked to be on a, um, a talk show, and part of the talk show is doing a vlog where he's busy and he's working, and so we already have that vlog. And the other is whenever, um, let's see whenever he's not busy. And so we are trying to get some of the things complete in his room so that he can do like a, <laughs> so he can do like a, a vlog of what his room looks like. And so, yeah, this is what we're working on right now. Only my child. This theater is closed. Nobody can come in. <laughs> Our special tickets. ticket, please. Oh, okay. It has to be a special ticket, ticket. please. Ticket. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> this is in the hand. This is really cool. I think I think he has a really cool room. <laughs> okay, we um, we now have our orders from Gabriel for the. Um, these stars 
the Hollywood stars from the Walk of Fame that he wants on his wall. <sighs> See, we've had all of this stuff, and then he and I left town, you know. So now um, I'm getting everything done because <laughs> he wants to do that tour on that show, and um, he wants people to see his room. I love his room. I think that he has one of the coolest rooms around. Um, all three boys have really cool rooms. I'm kind of proud of them. Um, but you will, I, I think you'll get a kick out of the, the stars that he has picked for his own personal walk of fame. Of course, Hugh Jackman you know, but, um, no, I'm just going to save it and I'm going to show you because my mom is doing all the lettering on the stars right now. All right. I have put up the stars. We have the walk of fame on the wall. Ed O'Neill, Chris Pratt, Tom Holland, Robert Downey Jr., John Krasinski, Josh Gad, Gabriel Solis, and Hugh Jackman. Yes, it is quite, quite the walk of fame. I am here to help Horatio. It has started to sprinkle, so now we need an umbrella. Our backyard is so pretty. You can hear Julian playing. And you can hear some... Uh, Fireworks, too. Yes, we have two trampolines. <laughs> There's one over here. That's ours. And, I mean, this is technically ours, but it was left here. Nobody jumps on it, though, because I don't know how old the mat is. And there's Horatio. It stopped raining. It started raining again. <laughs> it did. <laughs> he approves of the pie. <laughs> What's going on? There's a rainbow. It's just crazy outside. Oh. Crazy. Where? 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 Oh my gosh. There's a huge rainbow. You can see it through the trees. Mm -hmm. Huge. I saw it. I saw it. <gasps> Yeah. Wow. And it's like, Here. the sky is on fire. No, come outside. I, I guarantee you can see people in the basketball court. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah. Can you see it? Oh, wow. It's almost like it ends right back there. Yeah. Right here. Oh, my gosh. You can see it through the trees. Look at that. I, I spotted it. You did. Wait, can you see it in the sky? It's disappearing, though. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I can almost... Oh, I can see it now. Wow. It's pretty. What a pretty night. It's so pretty. We are going to have a pretty sunset. I guess we can see it better over here. I'm running. <laughs> Holy cow, look, there's the ark. It's the ark of the rainbow. Oh, pretty. You can come. Oh, wow, you can see it really good on camera. In real life, like you, it's it's really hard to see, but if you look on camera, there's a clear 
This is like a clear beam. Oh my gosh, turn around, Mom. Turn around. The sky's on fire. It's like the really cool sunset where the sky's like on fire. Oh wow, Mila, your camera looks your camera looks amazing. Oh my gosh, the colors are going crazy. Also, people are going crazy with fireworks. Yeah. All right, I think I'm gonna make this my final clip. Um, I am. I am very excited because <laughs> I know that I'm going to be hearing about rehearsal schedules for Charlie and the Chocolate Factory probably in the next couple days. Um, so I'll be able to really focus on our schedule and um, I'll be able to know what's happening. I'll be able to know <laughs> what's coming up and um, where we need to be and all of that. Um, I'm going to be arranging a little bit of music for that. So, um, yeah, I have to get, I have to start getting busy with that. Um, the boys have their respective roles in that. Uh, Julian, I don't, I think I've told you, but Julian is narrator. Um, Ethan is Augustus. I'm Mrs. Gloop. My mom is um, Grandma Josephine, and Gabriel is going to be Charlie. Um, and so, but in addition to their roles, they have been asked to be the Oompa Loompas. Um, in the play, the Oompa Loompas, it's, it's more of like a an audio thing with either puppets or I think they're going to try to do a video of Oompa Loompas so the boys might get to uh, be in some really interesting costumes <laughs> and make a film of themselves as Oompa Loompas. Um, we're still trying to figure that out but I have to arrange some music um, to go with all of the the long chunks of poetry and prose for the Oompa Loompas. Um, I'm really excited about that. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. I like the challenge and I'm going to get my dad involved. Um, and I have mentioned it to him. So dad, if you're watching, this is your reminder. <laughs> We're going to be, uh, collaborating, uh, to try to figure out what the boys are going to sing to be Oompa Loompas. Um, but I'm so looking forward to live theater. So much, so much. <laughs> um, and yeah, uh, final clip and until tomorrow.